hi everyone uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, use the transformation constraint so let's get started shift a armature single bone let's go to the object property in front uh, I mean let's keep it that way texture to wire so that you know uh, so that we can see the axis as well so right here object data property from here uh, in viewport display tick axis so now you can see the axis as well so let's go to edit mode select this shift D to duplicate on the x-axis 1 enter so right now what I'm, I'm trying to show you is the example of it then then I'll try my best to show you the how you can rig your own character with using the tra the transformation constraint control tab so select this shift click this control shift C transformation so what I want is that is if if I move this bone G Y Y if I move this bone right here the local axis on up so if I don't know which value is it is, is it positive or negative so go right here now you can see this value in the item panel it's going in positive one so go right here and always you know if you're working on world space so you're working on this world space otherwise if you're working on local space it means that you're working this local space this particular bone okay are all local space so let's work with the local space so I, I've moved this bone on the y-axis right here right so this is the bone so uh, let's make this thing clear max means positive minimum means negative okay so you can't you know uh, change uh, you can't you know put the negative value on the positive right here or you know positive number of a positive value or in the negative right here so it won't work so I'm just I'm just trying to increase this to the positive like let's see 300 okay now I want this bone also to move on the x-axis so there you go x-axis so it is already assigned x-axis so I want this y axis to be moved right so if I move this bone on the y so I want this x axis to move so let's change this one x to y simple now this one is moving so I can't I can't change it right here it, it will it won't work okay and then, now for example I'll, uh, let's say I put right here alt G and it's going to stay right here it's not going to move its place so we're not going to if you move this bone so you you, uh, you should not move this one but this one now it's not working let's try to give it a very good value so that it should show that effect okay 700 so if I move this one now it's going to move okay and if I press extrapolate what happened exactly is that it, uh, let me try to disable it what happened exactly is that is if I press G Y Y and let's say let's make the bone go down and it's, it is not moving right so what you can do is that is just enable this one then move it now it's moving up and down and whenever I move this up and down it this bone will go left and right so now let's say I want uh, if my bone I want uh, whenever I move this bone on the y-axis I want this one also to rotate as well so simple duplicate now right here from location to rotation so uh, let me make this one also clear is that this map from it means this bone this particular bone map to means this particular bone okay because the bone uh, uh, the uh, the constraint that you have assigned is this one right so map to map from 
means this one so whenever I like what you're saying to the uh, to bone is that is if I move this one up this one should move this much value of it you know like like that so right now I'm trying to show you the rotation as well so click rotation so uh, the bone that I want it to rotate the axis that I want it to rotate is the Z axis R Z Z as you guys can see it's this is the bone that it should root uh, this is the axis that I want it to rotate so again Z to Y this is the value now let's try to increase it let's say if if I you know, drag it to about right here I can't go above 180 okay if I type 1000 or maybe 10,000 that will work G now look it is moving and why I showed you this method is that is if I you know just drag it let's say just press 0 if I say just dragging it to about 180 okay it, it it will show effect but it's going to show very you know it's like I have to move it the bone up till it shows the effect as you guys can see it is now rotating G now see it is rotating right so that is why let's press alt G alt G so there you go so now if you have learned this concept so you can you know assign this concept on your character so uh, let me try to pause it for okay uh, now for example that you have a character and it's all rigged up now I'm just going to select this go right here press in front now you, you can see the bones as well so control tab let's say that I want to add a bone for the butt area as well let's go to edit mode shift D duplicate as to scale it alt F that will you know flip the bone straight my bad s to scale it g let's place it somewhere right here okay and of course always name it left i'm just going to name this thing something around 10 enter okay uh, you can name uh, whatever you like so let's go to object mode select it uh, before doing that let's go to edit mode select a all right click symmetrize okay let's go to object mode select this shift click the the rig then control p with automatic weight and that's it now control tab let's select this r and rotate now it's perfectly so rotating as well perfect but what I want is that is whenever I rotate this now look it's com kind of completely in its right place so what I want is that is I want it to rotate and place it like it here as well so this is how I want the butt area to to look like to move so to do that all G everything select this shift click this control shift C transformation now again same thing go right here add access to it so that you guys can see the access so I'm just going to hide the this area of it edge to hide and of course I'm going to hide the the left side of the leg of the bone hide so I'm just working on the this one side of it right so let's say it's kind of slow okay so select the bone and if you see in one side this bone so whenever I move the tie RXX so it's moving on the x-axis right on on which value on the negative value so what I'm going to do select this one go right here 
always from world to local okay now we're working on the rotation so select the rotation this one so x-axis is in negative so minus 180 and the of course the location so right now what I'm trying to work on is that trying to get a perfect view that's going to look almost like this to it right so whenever the character rotates this one should look like this okay alt r r and g okay so in the location panel y axis so the bone is moving on the x axis right so let's change this one to the x axis let's try to increase the value okay let's see maybe zero point let's say till here alt g alt r my bad r and now it's too much let's try to decrease it till 0.1 that looks good so now this one's done let's go for the let's duplicate again this time for rotation for the rotation right so I want the x-axis uh, and there you go same thing x-axis this and this the board are having same so no need to change it so this one's in in negative right so let's see uh, which one is this one's going to move so I want it to move on the this one also as well in negative area as well so let's see there you go this is the one now all you have to do is just try to tweak the value in order to get the proper result how you want so let's hide this one as for this let's hide this one okay now I want let's say this one go up nope let's say on the z-axis put this into x-axis and again same thing let's see where this one's going nope let's see there you go let's try to increase the value uh, decrease the value alt r now you know what let's shift and click and now let's try to okay fine so what i'm doing right now is just holding shift and click so it it gives the uh, you know the smooth value so like you can see that 0 0.07 0 0.5 you know like so there you go alt r now you guys can see it's moving properly up so too much you know it's like it's going to reduce it again so just trying to work with the value properly hmm. there you go alt r let's see again and now it's moving properly so now this one's done now let's work on the this side as well so let's name them properly this will be loc lock for location and name this thing for rot for rotation rot for rotation so again let's say this duplicate so mm, now this one's done let's zero this one out now of course it's going to be positive 0 180 degree because if I select this R now it's going on positive 180 so select this one okay now 180 now let's try to go right here same thing x-axis so of course this one zero this one zero so let's say this is the value now i'm going to make it look make the 
this go up this one a little bit this side okay now this one's done now let's go for the rotation let's duplicate this there you go again if this one let's say let's go right here this to zero put this thing to 180 on positive now again select this one to zero now let's work with this value as as well there you go this is the one now let's see this is the one and now let's try to increase it now let's try to increase the value let's say till here will be good hmm. alt r now you'll see this bone also there you go so I'm not going to show you how I weight paint the character it's like either, either I show you the professional way or the beginner way but they both have the same concept it's just working hard <laughs> on it so yeah what are and that's it in in the, in yeah actually that's all it is so thank you for watching bye